Hey guys, welcome back to My Orchid Journeys. Today I went to Bunnings in search of some fertilizer and I came home with some orchids and a couple of others. So these two at the back, um, they're not today's purchase. They uh, we got a few weeks ago was our wedding anniversary and we bought a couple of orchids as a bit of a celebration and they are just just gorgeous so I thought I might show you those as well but anyway let's look at what we got today so first let's get in a little closer I got a couple of Venus flytraps um, they are pretty cute so I've been wanting to get some carnivorous plants. I've got quite a lot of fungus gnats buzzing around my collection at the moment. And yeah, hopefully these will help deal with them. Um, so yeah, they can go hang out in my collection, hopefully eat some bugs. Uh, they're pretty cute. Also, first time buying carnivorous plants, even though I always kind of wanted one as a kid. Um, but... It said on the back, it had all these little details on how to look after it. But it says to cut the flower spikes as they start to grow. And it also says, do not fertilize. Um, so I'm, I don't know, is that normal? Should I be cutting these flower spikes? If anyone knows, please comment and let me know. Um, yeah, I'm eager to learn. So. They're super cute. All right, so on to the orchids. Let's go with the biggest one first. So this one is very, very pretty. I've kind of reached the stage in my collection where I don't just buy any old Phalaenopsis. Um, they have to be something quite unique to catch my attention. Um, and this one certainly did. Um, it's just got such an unusual pattern with the white speckling only around the edges of the petals. And then the pink in the middle. And yeah, I've, I've never seen one like it. And I really, really think it's pretty. And then let's see if we can go just a little closer in here. Look at that, the yellow in the throat. It's really pretty too so yeah this one is really nice it's got a good show already with, well, looks like four flowers open and plenty more buds to go um it's got nice shiny healthy leaves so generally when you're choosing an orchid you well, obviously you're going to buy it because you like the flowers, but you want one that's healthy. So nice shiny leaves and a good root system are important. And we definitely have that here. Um, we've got lots of healthy roots. They do look a little bit dry, so I'll give it a bit of water later. Uh, but also lots of growing root tips, which is brilliant. So... This one, um, there's nothing moldy, anything like that. It's fairly happy, healthy. Um, so I probably won't repot this until the flower spikes are finished blooming. Um, I will just adjust my watering I, uh, as it's in very tightly packed sphagnum. A little bit of water seems to go quite a long way. Um, so I will just water it when it's dry basically and that seems to keep them going fairly well and then once the flowers are finished I'll repot it but yeah she's pretty anyway next up we have the littlest one and she's super cute so this one it grabbed my attention straight away because it's an a more unusual shape for the complex hybrids that you often see in Bunnings um, and flower shops and pretty much anywhere in Australia they yeah um, this one reminds me a lot of the Phalaenopsis equestris which is a species 
Phalaenopsis. Um, and they are not easy to find in Australia. So, um, yeah, it's quite tiny and it's got the petals are all kind of, I don't know if you can see, they all kind of slant backwards. And then this really, really cute little throat there with the speckling with yellow and white yellow and pink and then white and pink and yeah it is absolutely gorgeous i love it so much but also it has got a really nice root system on it look at all of these massive aerial roots um and then when you look in the pot it's like so many roots. This is really hard to do one-handed. But yeah, so many roots. Super healthy plant. Um, yeah. I, I kind of picked this one up because I love the flowers. But um, once I saw the root system, it went straight in my trolley. Because it's nice and healthy and will be a lovely addition to my collection. Um, as you can see, the flowers on this one are facing in kind of any which direction. That's fairly common for these ones from Bunnings and Coles. They seem to get moved around a fair bit in the transport process. And I guess they're getting light from all different all angles and they don't really know which way the flowers should go. So you end up with these ridiculous like upside down topsy-turvy flowers but yeah they're still super pretty and hopefully next year with a light source coming from this one direction the whole time it will give me a really nice show um yeah so that's that one and last and actually in this case last and least um i paid the least for this but that's because it's a special case um, this, I absolutely love this flower. I fell in love with it the second I saw it. It is just so unusual. I haven't seen something like it before with the spotting just around the edges and then that like splotching in the middle that almost makes it look like a face. And then the yellow in the throat and it's got cute tongues too. So yeah absolutely gorgeous but of course there was only one and let's go top to bottom she is a sad looking person so normally i buy the healthiest looking plant with the pattern that i like in this case because this was the only one i had to choose between taking the gamble on a less healthy plant and hope that I can revive it or not take home the one with the flowers that I really 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 like so in this case I took the gamble but let's have a look so we've got bent and smooshed petals we've got missing flowers we've got one of the flower spikes is just like snapped um and then we've got um, probably sunburn I'm guessing it's quite dry and crunchy but the leaf is most certainly very damaged and on this side it does look kind of black and speckly almost like mold so I would definitely rather not take the chance um, of letting that spread so I will cut the leaf um, to remove all of the damaged parts and I'll just seal it with some cinnamon um, this one will be getting repotted. It's got, if you can see, but there's fluffy mold in there. Um, definitely don't want that. And yeah, this leaf was very yellowing as well. So that's probably going to drop soon as well. Um, I guess a saving grace is that it does have some healthy, if dry looking roots. They're just... Yeah, I think we should be able to save this one. 
But yeah, so this will be getting repotted and a bit of first aid administered. Um, just let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in watching a video on that, um, if you might find that useful. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you have maybe found that useful or at least enjoyed seeing some more pretty, pretty flowers. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.